Stefano Stadium ending Barcelona's two-season reign as La Liga champions. The Latina Vin Zidane, who now adds a second La Liga title to his managerial resume and an 11th piece of silverware to his already incredible trophy case. Welcome into the Express Wrap-Up Show. I'm Gabrielle Amato alongside Eric Krakauer and Gary Bailey. What a match we just witnessed. Nine matches we just witnessed across Spain. So buckle up because we are going to make our way through each and every one of them. But let's go back to the Alfredo Di Stefano Stadium and see just how Real Madrid were able to clinch that choice from Carvajal who tries to chip Asenjo when he has Benzema running into space. But they would eventually uh, get their goal, but not quite yet. In the 16th, Asenjo once again to deny Modric from range. Gary? Yeah, decent strike from Modric, and as you said, he was to play a bigger role in a few minutes' time. Decent save from the keeper as well. And that goal did eventually come in the 29th minute. Casemiro wins the ball back in midfield. Luka Modric sets up Karim Benzema and into the back of the net it goes, Eric. High pressure from Real Madrid. We know that Villarreal liked to build from the back. And before this game, Real Madrid scored first in 24 of their 36 La Liga games, went on to win 23. In the 53rd minute, another opportunity for Real Madrid. Another huge save from Asenjo, Gary. Yeah, and Eden Hazard just unable to sort of scoop up that loose ball there. Carver Hulk, some great skills down that right-hand side. And Real Madrid, give them credit, pressing, causing problems, testing the goalkeeper. And Asenjo once again coming up huge to uh, deny Real Madrid. But this is the moment the drama begins. Most of our Eric, walk us through this. Yeah, so I think Hernandez Hernandez blows the whistle before the uh, Sergio Ramos kicks the ball, and that's why he gives the retake, because clearly Benzema is the player encroaching in the box. Otherwise, it would have been a free kick the other way. So I think Villarreal, very hard done there. Kareem Benzema does step up to take it, and it is his 21st goal of the season. He is now closing in on Lionel Messi in that Pichichi race. Another chance from distance for Real Madrid, Gary. Real oh. Madrid just keep on knocking. Yeah, Kroos with the effort left for what a strike that is. That would have been a goal lasso if that had gone in. And then in the 84th minute, Villarreal get one back. Iborra scores to put Villarreal on the board. Make Real Madrid fans nervous for a bit. Courtois really with no chance there, Eric. Yeah, and all the Real Madrid detractors will say that the game would have been tied had that debacle not happened on the other side of the pitch. It's a lovely header from Vicente Iborra, the tallest player on the field, making use of his big noggin. And Gary, a perspective on uh, from the keeper on Courtois there? No chance. I mean, he's, he's six foot five. He's at full full spread and he can't get him. Look at the celebrations, Gabby. Awesome. And you know what? They are worthy champions. That's 10 straight wins. Yeah, it, it, it really is quite an unbelievable feat. There we see the captain, Sergio Ramos, with the La Liga trophy. It was delivered to Valdebebas, to the Alfredo Di Stefano Stadium uh, earlier this week. And there you have it. Sergio Ramos with La Liga, the 34th La Liga title for Real Madrid. Here they get ready to throw it up. Let's listen in and enjoy the moment. Strange that there obviously uh, is no fans in the stands. Uh, their fans won't be able to celebrate at Cibeles. The, the club did put out a statement telling the fans not to uh, go there. So celebrate responsibly, all of you Real Madrid fans. But this is a title that means oh so much to not only the players, but to Zinedine Zidane. Yeah, it just shows that the French manager really has the golden touch. And really quickly, Sergio Ramos lifting that trophy. Even though you, there are question marks about that penalty, the fact that he's the one who picks the pocket of a Villarreal player is marauding in, in in the attacking third and wins the penalty, says everything about his presence on this team since the restart. I mean, all season, but since the restart, he has been unbelievable. Five goals and such a big part of the offensive output of this team. Luka Modric finally holds on to the La Liga trophy. We all remember that moment back at the La Rosaleda where Luka Modric and Gareth Bale were looking for the La Liga trophy the last time they won it. It wasn't there then. It is there now. And I hear that we have a certain Ray Hudson on the line to give us his instant reaction to Real Madrid lifting their 34th La Liga title. Hello, Ray. Are you seeing the images? How are you feeling? 
Yeah, Gabby, it, it should be celebratory stuff for the Madridistas, whose great manager has brought this club back to their greatest. It was Zidane who said at the start of the season, after that 7-3 uh, debacle in New Jersey when Atletico Madrid beat them off the park. He said, this will stay with us. We will be looking for revenge and we will be looking to win La Liga. Well, it, Zidane has done it again. His players followed the orders like great, great soldiers. They were emphatic after the break in the lockdown. They were imperious. They believed in one another and Zidane manipulated this team, massaged this team, and brought out the best in them. Right from the goalkeeper, right the way through the squad, they kept on believing and they were hungry as a hawk looking for its dinner. But that man there, Zinedine Zidane, could arguably be brought up and built a statue in front of the Santiago Bernabeu. Has anybody exemplified the spirit of Real Madrid more? The captain, perhaps, but he's got a long way to fill the boots of Zinedine Zidane. I'm not exaggerating when I say that this man deserves something special for what he has done with this club, not just in footballing terms, but in spiritual terms. He will be an immortal, he is an absolute icon, and he's done it again. He walks away, he comes back, he reinvigorates his club in the spirit of his team, and he does it as a darn way. All the critics and all the cynics walk away with the tail between their legs because they've all answered it. Sergio Ramos, the Barbarossa, Karim Benzema, with all the knives in his back from years of people saying that he's finished. Marcelo, another player who defies Mother Nature for the time. Courtois came back from and resurrected himself from the early part of the season. The Ballon d'Or player, Luka Modric, who people were saying is too old, get him out the way, it's Valverde is the future. No, Zidane says you're wrong. This I'll do my way. They were fantastic. They are worthy champions, like Gary Bailey said. And nobody says it quite like you, Ray. Thank you so much for joining us. The party continues, though. We're going to hear from Sergio Ramos, from Lionel Messi, and go back to the Alfredo Di Stefano Stadium. We'll be right back. Still a group of players? So, I could just be very happy. Yeah, all of the players have been uh, giving it their all. Everyone's committed. And in the end, this is football. It never changes. You have some players that play more, but some that play less and still give a lot to the team. But in the end, it's especially if you want to win things. To win a league like the Spanish league, it's just it's very difficult because you've got 38 rounds and you win it in the second to last round. Oh, I don't know. In the end. We're the ones that get the most points. So that's what you have to do in La Liga. You have to finish with the most points. And we've achieved that. Well, today is a day, for me professionally, one of the best days of my life. I'm convinced of that. It's a Liga, and then after the, uh, the stoppage and the quarantine, it's just been very impressive. Yeah, it's strange for everyone. We can't control how fans react. We'd love to be with them. We'd love to go to Las Cibeles as we always do. But uh, right now we can't. And they understand that. But we hope they're at their home. And we hope that they're happy. We hope they're happy to see their team win La Liga once again. So thank you to all the fans of Real Madrid. 
You've helped us achieve this. We've done it for you. Solamente una percepción mía, pero a ver si estoy equivocado. Está usted más feliz, más contento que incluso cuando ganó las Champions. Sí, sí, sí. No, no. Esto es una. Yes, yes. I'm. This is. La Champions, las Champions. The Champions League is the Champions League. Vamos a. Pero la. No sé. La Liga. I don't know. La Liga. The Spanish League. Es un esfuerzo tremendo. It's just such a tremendous. Es la hostia. It's the best. The words of Zina Bin Zidan, who has just told us that this is one of the happiest days in his professional career. This is his 11th title as Real Madrid manager. He now comes within three of Miguel Munoz, who is Real Madrid's most successful manager with 14 titles. I'm Gabriel Amato alongside Eric Krakauer and Gary Bailey. Zina Bin Zidan's legacy. Explain it in one word, Eric. <laughs> Legendary. <laughs> There you go. I, I mean, what he's accomplished, and I think I, I can't do uh, anything more than what Ray did. Uh, I can't add uh, to the way he extolled Zinedine Zidane, a guy who came in when this team seemed to be unmotivated after Lopetegui and, and Solari, a team that seemed only concerned with European competition, the Champions League, and when that didn't go well for them uh, last season, they just seemed completely disinterested. There was talk about bringing in new players, a whole new tournament, Turnover, but somehow he manages to galvanize his players, and now not only do they win their 34th La Liga, but they have to be, even though there's a deficit in the Champions League, they have to be one of the favorites to win that tournament as well.